Um, so the office is open. It's small. I keep saying that, but I think we're going to be okay. Yeah, no more dog in the office. It's it's fine. It's cheap. It's like 400 bucks a month. You know, that's cheap. All utilities included. All we have to pay for is um, internet. So that's like 40 bucks, I think. Like 100 to set up. No contract, month to month. Uh, the office is month to month, no lease. Um, we had to pay first and last and security, which, you know, we're going to have to get used to paying a little bit more up front for things because of our little, my little mistake. But I'm past it. I'm moving on. Uh, I'm not going to bring it up again. <clears throat> There's like a couple things that I'm worried about. Nothing huge. So, you know, back then, <laughs> uh, you know, yeah, I ran my mouth a lot about stuff. You know, I still believe uh, that, you know, actors shouldn't have to be, you know, treated like little bitches. You know, like, if you're an artist, you should be treated, you know, like an individual. Everyone is different. And those are the things that I think you'll get hired for. Um, so when you do things like workshops and showcases and take the classes and do the auditions and get the headshots and demo reels and all that stuff that you know you're supposed to do um all that stuff's fine you should do those things because you never know like one big audition could like change your life so if you're spending money doing workshops and you're getting called in for stuff i get it you know it's a business you spend your money wisely and you only you only spend your money on things that you're going to see a return on it if you're seeing re returns on workshops, dude, I get it. You got to do them. I think it's totally wrong how, like, some of the casting directors went down. Like, some of them are getting in trouble. I think one dude lost his business. Somebody told me that one's going to jail. I don't see how that can happen. But, uh, so, that sucks. You know, so from one business owner to another, like, that's shitty to have, like, your whole livelihood taken away. You know, I definitely know that feeling. But, um, you know... It, like, nobody went. Nobody won, right? Actors are still not really getting any opportunities whatsoever. The only way you can really stand out is to do your own stuff. Unless you're just, like, this brilliant actor. I mean, who, who knows? Everybody thinks they're amazing. But it's not your opinion. It's somebody else's that's going to get you a job. And I think the only way for you to be really creative, like, truly open, is not to have any kind of influences going on. You know, like if you, you're constantly hearing things like, this one dude told me once that uh, you can't, most of the time you can't turn in self-produced work if it doesn't look like it was on a real TV show. But to say that your demo reel has to look that way, I think is really shitty. I think if you're producing your own stuff, the last thing you should worry about is the budget. Like you shouldn't worry about the quality of it. You should worry about the performance. I mean, to me, that makes sense. Maybe it's crazy, but that's it. So all those times I was running my mouth, it was, that's what I meant. And I let, man, you know, it is what it is. It's like some people were, you know, some people were really shitty to us for no reason. Uh, this one casting director said that, just because we are associated with another casting director, we were shit. But this was like the first two months, three months. I didn't know anyone. I still really don't know anyone. Um, all my connections are people that I've gotten hired from and stayed in touch with. And I've always been okay. But for someone to just judge us based on you know, how they feel about someone else is crazy. But it is what it is. And then... There was this one time that, you know, I ran my mouth about a casting director because there was something shitty posted in his group about us. I mean, I remember how it all went down and it sucked because somebody called us and told us one thing. My fault. I should not have just reacted so quickly. But look, you know, when you own your you own your own business, it's you know, you're re it's like a part of you. So 
when somebody says something or something's negative, it's really hard to turn off and think, you know, logically. And maybe that's just because I'm not the best business owner. I'm learning. It is what it is. You know, it's all trial and error. But lucky, luckily, I've been able to just open really quick because, you know, we have such a strong base. Like, we always took care of people. But anyway, this thing, it was my fault because I, uh, I didn't wait. So that's one thing that I've learned, that instead of just reacting, it's okay to take a day. Like, it's not going to be that, it's not a big deal at all. You know, if, I, if something happens on Monday, it's okay to wait till Wednesday to respond. Like, that's common sense. So that was just maturity. Um, <clears throat> so those are things that, fuck, I get it. You know, there are certain people that will probably never respect us. Totally get it, my fault, something I gotta live with. But on the other hand, man, it's so hard to, you know, hindsight's twenty twenty. You know, you can blame yourself all day for things, or you can just regroup and just go. So when we closed, man, I, I was happy. I was like, I don't know about happy, but I was, I was relieved, you know. Um, we got rid of the studio, I just, I was done with that. We cut out some customers, you know, just the ones that didn't come around or didn't really use it, you know, so we just cut their membership. So we could have just, we could have kept collecting, but we didn't. We're not dicks. So we cut all that and then reached out to like a select few that said, hey, we're going to be doing things different now. It's just filming. We kind of phased everything out. And then I got this really cool gig, uh, you know, as a social media director for uh, this motorcycle company. So I did that for like eight or nine months. Um, and then I thought about going back to doing TCD again, but then I was like on a roll and I, then I was like, yeah, it was like really the fur furthest thing from my mind because, you know, it was just too soon and I didn't really know what I wanted. And then I interviewed for this job and man, I loved it. I was like, holy shit, this is what I want to do. This is it. Like I literally moved here to do exactly what I was doing. I mean, what I'm still doing. Dude, there's this like green, yellow, like exotic looking bird that always flies by. I think that bird got loose somewhere. That sucks. I bet that bird's expensive. The fuck was I saying? Oh yeah, so this job, I, like I love it. For whatever reason, it, it didn't work out. Uh, I'm still there and I want to stay for as long as I can. Like I love it so much. And so this TCD thing, it's more like a long, long, long term thing. Um, we're not going to let a lot of people join. It, we're just keeping basically enough to pay for expenses. So the expenses are pretty much paid already. That's a good sign, you know. But we're not really going to do a lot of marketing. Um, I'm just going to do these. This is what I wanted to do in the beginning. But I did it because I let somebody tell me that it was a stupid idea. Um, again, you know, it's like same with actors. Artists, you know, everybody's... You know, we all create. Um, and in the beginning, you when you're not really too sure of yourself, you let people influence you. You let people get in your head. And I did that because I know without a shadow of a doubt that content like this is the best way to promote your company because you get to see who it is you're working with. So my customers, when they see this, they know, oh, that's Mike. We pay this per month and we get all these things um and that's that's what i wanted to do and that's what i've done with clients you know over the years and as i went on i'm like man i'm i was right you know i should have just and even if i even if it didn't work out the way that i thought it would who cares like who are you that person to tell me that creating content about myself and what we're doing and why we're doing it like how dare you tell me that that was a bad idea like how crazy to i mean and i'm dumber for listening so that sucks but whatever dude you know we're back i'm excited and uh this time i will not listen to stupid i'll just do me
Like, what you guys should be doing. You should be doing you. 